Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the 57th installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. 57 episodes deep and we're still going. I can imagine me as an old man being like, what? Space waffles? No. Before we proceed, please click like and subscribe so that I may apply comb to mustache. What I eat in a day as a fat person healing my relationship with food. I recently got back from vacation and it's kind of hard to get back into the habit of not eating out and starting to cook all of your meals. But I'm trying to get back into my routine, so I made some breakfast. Okay, so you had some eggs, some bacon, a tortilla. I use these carb counter tortillas and if you don't dip... Okay, carb counter tortilla. So I'm guessing there's a bunch of fiber in that tortilla to try to counteract the carbs. Your tortilla and the egg yolk, you're doing it wrong. Then I season up some breadcrumbs because I'm going to put them on some chicken breasts and I've been cooking my Okay, so you're gonna bread some chicken breasts. Carrots in the air fryer, they're so good. Also, my mashed potatoes were a little thick, but it's okay, they were still yummy. Breaded chicken, carrots, mashed potatoes. All right, so far this one is good. She's cooking everything at home. I tried this avocado oil buffalo sauce for the first time. And All right, got a little bit of buffalo sauce going there. And it was so good. Whoa, 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 what are we doing? Get that ranch out of here. And a little bit of this lighthouse ranch on the side. Y'all know me, I love some ranch. For a snack, I had a couple of these. All right. Ranch is the devil, get it out of here. The delicious devil, yes, I said it. Miniature Slim Jim. Then for A miniature Slim Jim. I cooked some of these Tyson grilled chicken thighs in the air fryer. Tyson grilled chicken thighs. You're making a burrito out of it. Nice. It's the same sauces that I had for lunch. One of those carb counter tortillas and I made a chicken wrap. Don't forget to eat some thing yummy today. Love you guys. All right. Love you too. Bye. All right. This looks like a pretty decent day of eating. Let's take a look and add it up. All right, love. You started the day off with two eggs, bacon, and a tortilla. Pretty good breakfast. Um, those were some kind of carb counter tortilla that's low in carbs. That sounds good to me. Then later on, you had some breaded chicken, carrots, and mashed potatoes. I would suggest removing the breading from that chicken as we already had mashed potatoes, and that's enough carbs. Then later on, you snorted a line of ranch. It was crazy. Now I'm pretty sure you ate it with food. Like a boring person. And then later on, you had yourself a miniature Slim Jim. And then for dinner, you had a chicken wrap. All in all, not bad. This ain't bad. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Get that ranch out of here. Get that Slim Jim out of here. Other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> I should have known in the beginning when she started the video off by saying that wants to heal her relationship with food that this was going to be a decent day. She didn't say a fat person who eats 10,000 calories a day and doesn't give an F like some of them. This one did give an F. Next. What I eat in a day is... Peppa Pig. Who's just trying to live a best life? So... Okay, I did not put that edit in there. She did that. Okay, so this is Chloe. Good old pot noodle Chloe. We haven't checked in with her in a while. We're going to see how she's doing. For breakfast, we had these breakfast boxes that my mom made us. We had sausage. A breakfast box that your mom made you? Why'd she put it in a box? It sounds like you got this from a takeaway place. Why Why she call it that? And what happened? You um, took a bite of something and then started going into this sort of um, state? <laughs> Whatever you call this. All right, on the screen it says breakfast. Breakfast box. Sausage, bacon, tomato, mushrooms, and beans. What? Beans? <laughs> what? Why is there beans in there? How does beans go with any of that? All right, UK, the beans thing, it's enough, dude, okay? I think we can all agree it's enough. Sausage, bacon, tomatoes, and beans? What? Ugh, dude, the whole UK is just covered in a cloud of methane gas, bro. From the beans, it's farting, this is what that was. That was a fart joke, because I'm so mature and smart. Sausage, bacon, tomato, mushrooms, and beans. A classic, I suppose. I love the look on her face. I love how much she enjoyed that bite of beans. That reminds me of when I have a sip of coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for making that noise. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I wasn't trying to be weird. I just can't help it. 
Good old beans in there. Bacon, um, tomato, mushrooms, beans, and I bit my cheek really, really badly on the... Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh my goodness, you were enjoying the food too much is what happened. When you took a bite of the food and you started moaning and stuff, or was she actually not moaning and stuff, and that was her actually in pain, and I'm just a moron. She's all like... I'm like, oh wow, look at this person touching themselves and moaning. But in reality, since we didn't hear the audio, she was like, oh God, my cheek is dying. <laughs> Quit showing off over there, Chloe. But she's actually in terrible pain, screaming. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe, you know I love you. First bite, and it was actually horrendous i was in a lot of pain don't know if you could tell and i actually thought that you were enjoying yourself in the beginning that's how dumb i am i see you writhing around in pain on the floor and i'm like wow chloe's over here having a great old time <laughs> um but yeah this was really really tasty otherwise and then for I a breakfast box why is there beans in there chloe well, what where does beans come into this sausage bacon tomato mushrooms okay that could be a thing then beans why beans a snack i had a lunchbox lunchbox loaf i don't like the sound of that that's too vague for me you know that could like be anything i hate products that are named like that cheese product like what so it's not really cheese then a lunch loaf what loaf the raspberry and white chocolate ones are so tasty raspberry and white chocolate loaf okay I don't like my candy being referred to as a loaf. I don't like that at all. Am I the only one weirded out by that? Probably, I'm fairly abnormal. So I had them, and then for lunch, I obviously had- You obviously had pot noodles. Dang it, Chloe. Dang it, Chloe, with these pot noodles. That's why I always refer to her as pot noodle Chloe. Do I? Have I done that yet? I meant to, if I didn't um, thus far. Old pot noodle Chloe, up to her old tricks again. Didn't she make a sandwich or a burrito out of her pot noodle or something before? It was egregious. I had the curry cocoa noodles. This is my current phase. So this is what I'm having for my lunch. This is your corn phase? Current phase. So this is my current phase. This is my corn phase. Um, so you're eating noodles. Uh, okay. Maybe I just didn't understand it. I'll probably hear it in post. I can't hear a dang thing when I'm recording these. I can only hear it when I'm editing it later for some reason. You can't have the audio up too loud on the speakers over there. Otherwise, it'll bleed through this microphone. So maybe that's why sometimes I mishear them, but then I totally hear it when I'm editing. I don't know. Maybe I'm buckling under the pressure of having the camera on me. You're looking at me, so all of a sudden my ears don't work. I don't know. Is that how stage fright works? I went deaf. <laughs> I went deaf. I got nervous up on stage and all of a sudden all I heard was <laughs> like a flashbang went off. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm having for my lunch. Walkers, lightly salted. I can tell by that logo that that's just Lay's. They're just, that's just Lay's over there, dude. For some reason, the name Lay's must have not worked over there. So they had to call it Walkers. I'll bet you anything that that's actually Lay's right there. They did the research. They're like, in the UK, the name Lay's sells 2.5% less chips than it does over here. Change the name to Walkers. On the east coast of the US, we'll call the mayonnaise Hellman's. On the west coast, we'll call it Best Foods because... They, they don't give a crap about Hellman's out there, I guess. Which is really weird. I grew up on the West Coast, so I grew up with bring out the best foods and bring out the best. And it made sense. And then when I came to the East Coast, not this time. I've been here before, like many years in the past and seen Hellman's. And I saw it and it was like, bring out the Hellman's and bring out the best. And I was like, what? That doesn't even make any sense. What the heck? I know that Hellman's was the original name, but was that the original slogan? That's stupid. Bring out the best foods and bring out the best actually makes sense. It should be bring out the Hellman's and bring out the hell. Clearly, what are you guys doing? Walker's potato chips. Ironic. You eat enough of those, you're not going to be doing too much walking. Do do do. Um, forever. And then I had some crisps later on. Why is she doing that thing where they move the food around all weird, like, um, the fat posy punk? And then I had some crisps later on. Stop doing that. Am I the only one that gets really annoyed when they show food and they're like this? 
For some reason, they keep like rocking it back and forth. The fat posy punk that keeps going to Disneyland and eating there every single day. She does that. <laughs> she does that with every single item that she shows you. She's like, here's my passport. Here's a chocolate that I ate. Stop it. Knock it off. Am I just being a jerk by pointing that out? Maybe. Maybe I'm just negative and old. When you get to a certain age, nothing can bring you joy anymore. You know that? You see others having fun, and you want to stop them immediately. Stop smiling. God, I hate that. I'm old, you idiots. Shut up. Can't you see I'm old? What are you doing smiling over there? God, this guy's over here smiling and laughing. God, it's killing me. <laughs> there are people like this, you know. Oh boy, what is this? Plant-based naked katsu curry. I can tell by looking at this that this thing is going to, like, inflame your bowels. <laughs> All this plant-based processed stuff is going to inflame your bowels, homie. If you know what I mean. I'm sorry. As a snack, and then for tea, had some of this, um... No. Stop doing the thing where you move the package all around. Some, the whole, the whole thing. Curry, mushrooms, okay. If I didn't write that right, I'm sorry. If that wasn't actually curry, mushrooms, and rice, everyone's gonna be like, actually, that's curry, comma, mushrooms, and rice, you fool. <laughs> uh, Aldi naked katsu curry thing. Oh, you got it from Aldi? Dude, we have those here. The store sucks. Dude, Aldi is the worst stupid store. We have Aldi here, and that's the most garbage store ever. They don't even bag your groceries, bro. They do some stupid thing at the checkout where they, like, don't bag your groceries. They put them all in the cart, and then you have to buy bags or something, and then you take your cart over there and start putting it in the bags yourself or some nonsense, and the checker is sitting down. What the hell? They really don't seem to care about efficiency at Aldi. It's the slowest, dumbest store that I've ever been in. If I have to bag the stuff myself, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself an employee discount since apparently I work there. And then I just did some uh, mushrooms to go with that. Okay, love you, bye. All right, love you too, bye. Let's take a look at this one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with a breakfast box. I believe you said that your mum made it. And it consisted of sausage, bacon, tomato, mushrooms, and beans. Beans were in there for some reason. Why? Why were there beans? Was that in case we didn't know you were from the UK or something? You're like, don't worry, don't worry. I put beans in there as is customary. As per tradition, I have included beans in something that totally shouldn't have them. <laughs> for breakfast, I had some eggs with beans on it. What? And I know that you're probably thinking, why is he laughing? Because that's a traditional dish. Probably. Probably, dude. <laughs> How does he know? How does he bloody know about the beans and eggs dish that we've been hoarding from the Americans for so long? Sorry, I started going into Jason Statham again. All of my UK accents eventually devolve into Jason Statham. Oh, you got a license for those carbs, mate. <clears throat> he handles every situation with an uppercut, and I don't disapprove. All right, so that wasn't a bad breakfast. There was a lot of protein in there, honestly, you know? Although you followed it up with a raspberry and white chocolate loaf, an undisclosed loaf of mystery origins. When I hear loaf, I just think of like a bunch of stuff ground up together and baked into the shape of a bread loaf, because I'm a stupid child, apparently, and I can't see the word loaf without thinking of bread. And then you had the Chloe classic, a pot noodle, and also some Walker's potato chips. And then for tea, you had some curry mushrooms and some rice. Oh, and all, not bad. I've seen much worse from you before, Chloe. This, this, this isn't bad. This is all right. All right, love. After much deliberation, I've come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 10. I've seen much worse from Chloe in the past. This is an improvement. As you can see, I never released the Secret Eaters episode last week. I didn't record it yet. Since it's going to take me more time to watch and edit, um, please watch it twice, okay? And thumbs up it several times. Actually, don't do that, because if you thumbs up it after you thumbs up it the first time, you unthumbs up it. Thumbs it up, thumb up, thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And so we draw to a close on another What I Eat Wednesday. My obesity level, eh, I'm about a 2 out of 10. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up every video like I used to wrap up Ticked Off Thins Tuesdays. Did somebody say Ticked Off Thins Tuesdays? God, I hate myself and all of you. I hate you so much. 
from the bottom of my pillow. <laughs> oh, Punchy, it's good to have you back, buddy. <laughs> oh, God, it's biting me. Get it off. Oh, God. Oh, look at all this blood. Oh, my God. Oh my god! <laughs> What's gonna happen to my family? <laughs> Please click the like button. One like equals one mustache coming. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.